Hi, Tiffany. Just uh, thought I'd take a look at your project here. And yeah, it looks like you ran into some roadblocks on this quite a bit. So um, first thing I'm noticing is that as I play it, this syllabus bounces up and down. And that's just an animation or a behavior. I think it's a behavior. And so what I'm going to do is remove that bounce up and down. Um, and so I'm going to remove uh, that bounce up and down. Let me see if I can get this to go smaller here. So it can fit in the screen area without bugging that other thing. Okay. All right, so we have the track here. And I've got some behaviors on the bottom. I can see a line going across here. If I click on that, it brings it up, and that's a jump and fall. And so um, what that did was, is that, yeah, it must have applied to the whole clip. And so it makes the whole clip jump and fall, which is not what we want it to do. And that's why this uh, syllabus is jumping up and down so like it is. This so here you have... See how it pops up and down? So I'm just going to remove that. And it looks like we have a fade effect here. I'm going to remove that as well. So I just right-clicked on those to remove those. And now it's not bouncing around like a crazy syllabus. Um, what else were we working on? Oh, it was the music. We had a hard time getting the music to fade out at the end or to stop at the end and that one's kind of an interesting problem because it should end right here so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that because the music track itself oh there's another music track that's what's going on oh this is your audio track this is your voice track and up here is the music track this is track 5 Firefly so what I would actually do is kind of start it out at the beginning. Hello, this is Tiffany Juarez. And then of course I don't want it as loud as this because we want to be able to hear your voice better. So we want to make it lower. I'm going to show you a few seconds of an But to get it to end is just a simple matter. It's really pretty easy to do. Um, once we get to the end of the video, which is like right here, I put my cursor right there at the end and then I use the scissors button or this split button. I can use either one. I'll probably use split. What that does is it splits the clip, whatever clip you have selected, and it makes it into two. I can just delete that second clip. So now it's gone and when the video ends, so does the music. I also noticed that there's an arrow showing up here on track six so we want to get rid of that one too because that's past the end of the video and so the video should end at this point now unless there's something other else going on oh, there we go um, by the way you can also zoom out and zoom into your track using this plus and minus button that way you can see things that are further down the track that maybe you can't see at first glance um, so one other thing that you'll want to do to fix this um, is to go ahead and, and go into Canvas. After showing the syllabus, you want to go into Canvas and just show us a few of the features in Canvas. So for instance, you can go to our class here and say the home page gives us announcements and also activities that we do each week. The announcements page gives us any announcements, that kind of a thing, because it's supposed to be a little intro to our class in um on, you know, in Canvas. So hopefully this is helpful to you and uh, hopefully you're able to check this out.